Today I want to talk about cross-site scripting password stealing and who actually needs cookies. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description, along with any reference links and source code. So most people are already aware of using cross-site scripting to pop alerts or steal cookies. Today I'd like to show cross-site scripting password stealing. While stealing credentials with XSS is a bit more difficult, the payoff is even greater. You do not need to worry about cookies becoming invalid, and there's always the chance of reused credentials. The application I will be attacking is a slightly modified version of one of my demo pages. I borrowed the index.php file from a LASA CTF challenge and edited it for this attack. Login.php is a simple CTF login that will display a flag upon success. While this is vulnerable to SQL injection, this is not the attack that I'm going to demonstrate. While not necessary for this vulnerability, app slash config.php contains the flag and the DB files location. Other than that, you will need a SQLite database containing user information for the application to properly function. If you'd like to just follow along, I've included the one that I'm using below on the blog. If you did not notice earlier, the lang parameter is vulnerable to a cross-site scripting attack. After modifying the language parameter slightly, an alert pop-up appears. In this case, the attack will be against the browser's saved credentials. First, obtaining the username and password from the SQLite database for a proper login. With the proper credentials in hand, I logged into the application. When prompted, I had the browser remember this login. This is important as this is what we will be attacking with this demonstration. The next time I loaded up index.php, my credentials were already populated as expected. In this case, if our victim has credentials saved in their browser, then we can steal them with cross-site scripting. First, we need a duplicated copy of the login form for the browser to auto-populate. Other than that, we just need a JavaScript function to actually grab the credentials and send them back to us. Our final payload will look something like this. Once I had my payload in hand, I URL encoded it to make pasting it into the browser a bit simpler. Upon loading the page with our new malicious lang parameter, the browser injected our new code. As you can see, there are some errors with the body tag. That is because we closed and reopened the body tag, which is technically not valid HTML, but it does still work in this situation. Additionally, the application sent the stored creds over the wire to our attacking machine. While this attack requires cross-site scripting on the login page and saved user credentials, hopefully I was able to demonstrate its severity. Note that in some cases, you'll want to add a delay to the steal creds method. The reason for this is that the browser might not fully load somewhere and the browser will not auto-populate the credentials by the time everything loads. Other than that, remember you can shorten this payload using techniques similar to my short XXS attack. In the meantime, you can check out this suggested video by the YouTube algorithm, and don't forget to click those like and subscribe links to help me grow the channel and the blog.